we have our last participant, CA Janesh. Janesh, are you there? Yeah. Please hi. Uh, unmute yourself and share your screen. Yeah. Can you hear me? Sumiji, please stop, sh stop sharing your screen. Sumitji, Sumitji, please stop sharing your screen. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is my screen visible and am I audible? Yes, your screen is visible. Yeah. Audible. Great. So I would like to begin by thanking the ICA and AA and ICA committee for giving me this opportunity and to the respective juries and uh, also the fellow panelists. Thanks for this opportunity. Uh, I'm Dhyanesh. I'm based out of Chennai and I have a six years of post qualification experience and I'm a, a member in industry, not in practice as such. So today's my use case is to uh, automate the booking of in expenses entry in Zoho Books using the AI. So the primary challenge that I'm trying to address here is the three key challenges. That is the manual processing that consumes a lot of time and errors that will creep in during the data entry or the mismatched accounts and the compliance issues and everything that we will be having. And the AI solution I have built has uh, provided a 70 to 80 percentage of processing time reduction because uh, of cases where we get an email. Traditionally, we get an email with the uh, attachments. We have to analyze the attachment and the person who is an accountant has to go to that particular accounting software, uh, tag in those uh, specific account ID and then post it. So all of this are taken care by the automation. So there is a 70% to 80% of the reduction in the human time. And uh, there is also a good amount of uh, automated data extraction uh, towards 80%. Some scanned PDFs or scanned images may not be working properly. That has to be routed through human approval again. So this is done through an email processing. So there is an interactive workflow I have included here, but it will be difficult to show it. So I have just uh, demo it probably. So I have used make.com. Make.com is an automation platform which can use multiple uh, uh, tools, nodes for multiple things. So this is the flow we have built. This is a primary flow. So this triggers from the email and ends with the booking once once all the things are completed. So I will show the demonstration. The demonstration has multiple stages, multiple use cases. So I have recorded it as a video. So probably that will be an easier way to uh, do it because everything will take time here. Just play the video. I will walk you through. So there are two flows. One is for the general approval when there is a approval limit is set to 1 lakh. If it is less than 1 lakh, the first flow will be doing the case. And if there is a higher value, it routes to the second level where a manual interference is there. And if once approver gives approval, reject or more information is required, it will be routed to this. So in this, you have seen that is, uh, all the documentation is being saved in the uh, SharePoint drive for the audit trial. And it initiates with the email trigger. Uh, let me just zoom in a bit. So we have to specify what is the uh, email in a natural language and along with the attachment. If the attachment is missed, generally you will get a notification when the flow is run, you will be getting a notification that uh, the attachment is being missed and you have to share the attachment. So the attachment can be shared as a reply to this email instead of a new email as such. So uh, this will be the detail, what are the uh, file formats that is acceptable, et cetera. So this email is automated. Once you reply to the email with the attachment, probably in this case, I have the attachment for the Microsoft subscription on the email. So if we share this, obviously then the expense entry will be getting triggered and then posted in the Zoho books. If the values in the document is matching with the values that we specify in the email. So that level uh, is also being checked. So if there is no attachment, it goes and triggers an this thing. And if there is an attachment, it analyzes the email. It also cross checks once with the chart of accounts that is fetched from the Zoho book. And it also passes the information from the uh, attachment that was uploaded by the user. 
and checks again with the information that is provided by the user and then sends your telegram notification here we can uh, modify the notification wherever you want if we can uh, have an whatsapp business api we can also integrate that and if everything is perfect it goes ahead and books the expenses in the zoho books and also confirms the user as well as the approver or the accounts team basically as posting has been done so we'll just quickly show the zoho books question so the zoho books has recorded the uh, posting here based on the email trigger and the attachment is saved in the SharePoint drive for the auditor. So the attachment will have the naming based on the expense category and the date of, uh, you know, the expense for easier uh, identification. I'm also parallelly working on to try to attach this directly into the Zoho books uh, entry instead of a uh, separate one. And in case the attachment is different and the concept or the expenses that has been mentioned by the user is different. Here I am mentioning 2000 is for Cloud AI subscription, but I will be reattaching the same Microsoft the one. So in that case, what will be happening is that it is will automatically analyze and then reject this, reject it saying there is a contradictory uh, statement that we made. So the original submission is for Cloud AI subscription, but you have attached something related to Microsoft. This does not actually match and there is a date difference, there is amount difference, everything is there. So this is not the right way. So we have to share the right supporting document for this particular expenses. So that is another uh, checkpoint that we have. And for a an higher value uh, for this use case, for the higher values, I have set one lakh as the limit. So if the amount is more than one lakh, it automatically uh, triggers. Sorry, Rahul, you were on mute if you're talking. Okay, we'll continue. Uh, so I have the, uh, this entire thing is built using uh, AI anyway. So all the HTML formatting, everything is done and the email is being triggered. And the uh, approver has three uh, options, either to approve, reject, or uh, request for more information. And by single click of a button, the uh, email is generated. Only thing they have to fill is the either the rejection region or the more information, whatever is required. They have to fill in the details that is required for them to be shared. So if it is approved, it again follows the same principle and books the entries in the Zoho books and uh, you know sends the uh, confirmation over an email to the user and the approver. And if there is a rejection, again, it is marked using the email and notified to the team. And if there is more information required, it uh, goes back to the uh, respective uh, submitter. I have quickly summarized the demo. Uh, if there is any question, I am open for it. Chenji, if you, you want to start asking. Uh, just a small query, uh, you are, instead of live demonstration, you are showing yeah. a, so yeah. how you made it, how you, the purpose of the process, please, you have to explain that also. Yeah. Okay. I have built this using the make.com, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, I wanted, yeah. Nyanesh, uh, Rahul bhai, sorry to interrupt. I just had a discussion with Rishi ji and uh, the overall demonstration needs to be live. What we see okay. in Nyanesh is uh, you, whatever you speak was live, whatever you yeah. demonstrated was recorded on YouTube. That is not yeah. allowed. You have to demonstrate here at, as live. Okay, I can quickly do this. but uh, No, now your time is up. Okay. Now your time is up. So now okay. it is not allowed for us to give you that time. Uh, okay. Rahul bhai. Okay, sir, you can. I just had a discussion with Rishi ji on this and he said it is not allowed. Uh, we have okay. to uh, see the demonstration. Because, uh, like in one of the recorded. earlier episode, in, in one of the earlier episode, I saw one of the members showing this because of the time constraint they have recorded and showed it. So I thought that would be another way. So because no. there are multiple stages to this uh, particular automation. So in one of the thing I saw, uh, uh, one guy presented, uh, a, a panelist has presented like this and he shown the flow how it was being created in Power Automate. 
rather than you know a particular feed triggering completely from this and so that. that's why i chose this I because there are multiple stages to this i don't know anything about the previous uh, episodes point is today i just called rishi ji and i asked him and he said uh, live demonstration is required few things you can demonstrate through video stating that it is time consuming but at least few things you need to do hands on here okay so for your presentation the whole complete uh, demonstration was online or a recorded video which was there at the back end okay right so i don't think it will be allowed still what we'll do we'll uh, put it in our remarks and we'll ask ai committee to decide on it sure right yeah thank you dhanesh rahul bhai over to you so you can please conclude shahid bhai you have any concluding remarks you have so overall it was a very nice uh, presentations all of you uh, use cases were really good you put a lot of efforts into this i can see those efforts so thank you very much for updating us with these use cases thank you very much all the best for your uh, future episodes and uh, upcoming you see uh, upcoming use cases keep keep it ready for you and that's all from my side thank you from my side all the best for everyone i know there are nine people and only few are going to be selected if you are not selected please don't lose hope but this is not the end keep on innovating keep on using ai and how you are going to use ai in solving those problems which generally take a lot of time so that it can actually increase our efficiency and increase our output and and can give good output to your clients and that's from my side thank you thank you everyone